Hey there, this is a really exciting time because I am announcing our second library, which is called Feedback Drones. It started out simply as an accident, actually. So turning on the microphones as I was recording some live instruments, of course, forgetting to press mute and putting on the headphones. And I was like, you know what? This is really interesting. So as I was Hearing that feedback, I started massaging the sound and started turning up the volume up and down in the control room. And what resulted was something really magical, mystical, haunting, dark at times. When I was first starting to get this library up and running, I thought, okay, feedback drones, really long, really cool, a minute, a minute and a half, most of them and they've got their own character and it's just like hold down whatever key they're all pitched so you can hold down the key create that mystical magical dark horror setting whatever kind of vibe you need and what ended up happening was really um i don't know why i'm surprised but it was just super surprising and exciting the first thing that started happening was i started getting these amazing pads and so i was like oh this is amazing so I started just creating a bunch of pads then the next thing that came out of it was basses and these I would call mostly synth kind of bass and these sound like they're direct out of vintage synthesizers and uh, euro rack kind of vibes the next category was leads and so leads also kind of categorizes itself with keyboard or sort of middle to high sort of melodic vibes you could use them as arpeggiators you could use them as main melodic leads we're able to hone in really great and create some amazing lead sounds so the last area of the library are rhythmic pulses and these are created with the engine. The engine is really cool when it comes to rhythmic things. You're able to do sort of step sequence kind of things, but then you're also able to do step sequences for various filters, pre and post FX. Okay, to sum it up, 4.6 gigs of data, drones in three different categories, basses, leads, pads, and rhythmic textures. There's a lot here and a lot to explore, and I'm excited for you all to check it out.